Yo guys, it's your homie Xenopain. I'd like to welcome y'all to another Skyforge video and today we're going to be going over on how to level up. Keep in mind guys, I am on my wife's account. I had to get on her account so that way I can understand where you guys are at currently in Skyforge, beings we're so far in the invasions and stuff like that. So I hope this guide really helps you. This will be an updated guide for my Prestige 55 guide, but instead of Prestige 55, we're going to go based off after you guys equi uh, finish the equipment tutorial. So we're on 38, 40-ish plus. First off, guys, we're going to begin this guide with Bastions. Now, Bastions really increase your might, so it's very, very important you guys get these done. You guys should have been doing them as you guys were progressing through the beginning of the game. But the way the order is for these Bastions people is Philomenus, Lenos, and Santria. And the reason why you want to work on these three first is because Philomenus unlocks your god weapon. Lenos gives you that defensive survivability for each of your classes. And Santria gives you emblems, which you can either step on for health, speed, or just mad damage. And the fastest way, guys, to get these Bastions done are stimulants. You guys can get these stimulants by daily login, Pantheon Academy, or Pantheon Wars, special debt missions, and in the market. So what you guys want to do is use your stimulants on the Bastions. For free-to-play people, you still want to use them on the Bastions, but you also want to withhold some, especially if you guys can't get into queues for certain invasions that you guys have to do like Flavius's laboratory but we'll jump that late jump into that later on in the video um also if you guys do have a lot of money to spend on this game i recommend on stimulants and knowledge of enemies i recommend waiting until a sell happens but if you guys can't help it then just go ahead and dive into it and buy those knowledge of enemies and stimulants and same thing for the people who have money to spend if you guys maybe are a loner or you guys can't find a group to play with or even a guild and you guys are low level because of your low level you you know, because a lot of people like to discriminate in Skyforge, even though, let's say, an invasion is 97, and let's say you're 97, people are still looking for maybe somebody who's like 101, 105, which sucks. But you guys are going to want to withhold some stimulants for certain things to skip other than your bastions before we go any further in this guide guys for all the people who are wondering about the hall of trophies i'm gonna tell you guys what you guys should buy especially at low levels if you guys have those victor medals also i didn't say it in the last part but if you guys can buy victor medals those usually go on sale too don't forget to purchase those as well if you guys have the money if not save your argents for stimulants knowledge of enemies and victor medals when they go on sale for free to play so what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to get the Elyon games, Heart of the Griffin, Cloud City, Ancient Traditions, and Habitat. Now you guys can do this in any order. You guys don't have to do it in the order I just said in this video. Just level up what you're working on currently. So if you guys are working on Bastions, get the Bastion ones. If you guys are working on your Cathedral or your Tower of Knowledge, then go ahead and get those first. And if you guys are really scarce on Victor Medals, then I recommend getting one level each. So, you know, like right here, we have Might from Bastions. I would get the one base, which is at 2,000. This is 6,000 for level two. And then I would go for Might Bastions. It's 2,000, but it's 6,000 because I have level two. And then so on and so forth. So that's what I recommend doing, guys, for Hollow Trophies. This really increases your Might exponentially throughout leveling up Bastions and knocking them out and etc. Next up in the guide, folks, we have the Cathedral, Tower of Knowledge, and Flavius's Laboratory. We're going to go ahead and jump into the Cathedral. The cath Cathedral is pretty self-explanatory in how to level up. You guys get a maximum uh, of 20 rituals, which is how many times you guys can put money into it. I really recommend putting money into this because it will increase your might for each time you put credits into it. There's also another way you guys can level it up, and the other way is three-man missions. You guys can go to three-man missions, just pick one, and you guys can farm the people who need rescuing. You guys get one to five might per rescue, which increases your might a lot. You guys can cap out at 100, and after 100, it turns into faith. You guys can do this every single day, so that's an extra 100 might a day we also have the tower of knowledge the tower of knowledge is what you guys are going to use your knowledge of enemies on you guys want to do this every single day as much as you can and the way you guys get knowledge of enemies is either through the market or just killing a bunch of enemies and you guys will get that knowledge and it'll stack up eventually now with this though when you guys are leveling it up and you guys are using so much knowledge per line it's gonna it's your might's not gonna increase right away you have to finish the whole bar and 
continue on to a new rank in order for your might to go up. But this is really crucial, guys, because Tower of Knowledge really does help you out. It gives you a bunch of items or, you know, uh, abilities that you can use in different instances you know five men's and three men's etc especially what you guys want to aim for is the god mode and this god mode is really good especially if you guys are running out of faith the catalyst of faith is really good and next up on the list guys we have flavius's laboratory i really recommend getting this done guys because each symbol you guys will be able to retain on each invasion so for instance the, com the combat superiority you will not be able to keep when a new invasion comes out but the symbols you guys will so we have might for the other worlds for instance just for an example all damage is increased by 4% you guys retain this for the next invasion this is really recommended to do and really just knock them out as fast as you guys possibly can so that way you know you guys can retain those stats and just get a really good increase in DPS damage reduction etc next up on our guide folks we have equipment now equipment just a little disclaimer does not increase your might it only increases your prestige as you guys can see that I'm at 42 649 on my wife's account I'm supposed to be well around 75,000 to 80,000 plus at 84 might. Now we're going to go ahead and go over what missions you guys could farm, should farm, and how to do it efficiently by yourself. If you guys can get a, get a group, awesome. But this is mostly for the people who can't get a group and just want to get stuff done because either they can't find anybody to play with or they just want to be by themselves. Now, if you guys are by yourself and you guys want to farm equipment, but you guys are doing hard missions and you guys can't do them by yourself, spam your god form. Do not be hesitant on using your god form because you guys can just farm them by sending your adepts out. You want to send them out as much as possible so that way they can bring you faith and that way you guys can get stuff done. And the things that you guys can do around 40 to 50 might with no problem or 40 to 50 prestige with no problem is the Kuatlian Station, Micro Monastery, Targo Islands, the Aquifer. Hespilion Temple, Isabella, and the Duran facility, and Fort Darlick, etc. Now, the ones you guys can't do is Operation Medea and Operation Ophelia. Stay away from those. At that low of prestige, which you probably have low might as well at that point too, you guys will not be able to do them by yourself. So if you guys can find a group for that, cool. But there's another way around it if you guys still can't find a group. And the other way around it, guys, is do your invasion. Your invasion will have a thing called lending a hand. Lending a hand is very good for farming credits and farming t uh, knowledge, as well as equipment containers. These equipment containers contain almost every single bit of gear for the current gen. And this is really easy to do by yourself. When you guys go into it, you guys are going to want to select warm up and use your god form as you guys go into it. You guys really want to do this if you guys are by yourself. You guys don't need anybody. It's just really easy. This is the easiest way to obtain equipment for the current gen if you guys are by yourself. So I really recommend doing lending a hand. Next up in the guide, guys, we're going to be talking about what to use your stimulants on other than your bastions. Now, I told you guys to save some when you guys are doing your bastions. And the reason why I said that, especially if you guys play by yourself, you guys are going to want to skip mechanoid flagship which will pop up on your flavius's laboratory when you guys are farming them and trying to get your combat superiority up and each invasion we get a flagship that's the one you guys want to skip especially if you guys can't find a group now with directives what you guys want to skip especially if you guys can't find a group and or don't want to wait in those long queues you guys want to skip special squad and special group i really don't recommend wasting your stimulants on this unless you really 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 want to other than that the rest of the missions that are on each directive you guys are going to want to do i don't recommend skipping the five man avatar either which you guys should be getting after finishing various directives because the five man avatar especially if you missed an invasion you guys are guaranteed a trophy uh, on completion it's a little catch-up system that they have and it's really really good so if you guys can do your directives go ahead do them and get them done other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it helps you level up and catch up to all the veterans etc and stay tuned for more skyforge content and yo guys if you guys like this video don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want more skyforge terra and or gaming news or anything else news or have any suggestions for me what to do on this channel if you guys want to see more gaming content or maybe me trying to get into animations who knows if you guys want to see all that don't forget to put that in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe help your homie out your homie xeno pain other than that guys you guys have a nice day morning and or night wherever you guys are out in the world your homie xeno pain out peace